Hi everyone! So I have another Hobby Lobby haul here to share with you guys. I have been doing a bunch of clearance hauls over the last couple of weeks and I did create a playlist that you guys can go to on my channel and it's titled Hobby Lobby Clearance. That way you can see everything that I've picked up in the last couple of days and you guys can create a little shopping list. And I do always give the prices so you can start to go ahead and budget as well. So let's get started. So I had bought this one before for $2.24 and I went to a different store and they had another one. So I bought this because once I opened the other set, I fell in love. Some of these are glass. So this blue one right here is glass. And then like this one with the green and the black is plastic, but it gives me Halloween vibes. And Halloween is my favorite holiday. So the same with the purple and these blues, those are plastic. And there is, oh, right here, you see this black one right there in the corner? That is a glass bead. And then these little pearls as well are glass. So it's a mixture of glass and plastic. So I highly recommend this if you like these colors. I'm going to do the blues for a winter uh, Chucky Charm. And then the purple and the green and the black for Halloween. So that's really nice there. Then I got this one that I opened because I wanted to check if it was glass or plastic. So this one is all plastic beads. So it is a mixture of browns, golds, and reds. They are really, really pretty, but these are all plastic beads right here. So they are still really, really nice. Look at that red totally for Christmas. Over here, you could use these for like fall. So a lot of just really prettiness. This one I'm probably going to do for a, uh, what is it called, coffee? Because I want to do like a coffee little project. So yeah, love that. I'm so happy that I found one of those. They do have other sets on clearance, but I have not found them yet. I've only seen them in other people's photos on Instagram. So you can always follow hashtag Hobby Lobby Clearance. That's where I've been able to find some things as well to see what's available. But this is all that I found so far in these big containers. Then I found these and these were $1.49. And they are the same little like skew number right here, but this one is definitely darker than this one. This is more pastel and this is more like a bright. So I'm really happy that I was able to get two. So now I have the two different colors. So I just thought that was really interesting that you can definitely see the color difference in these. So I got those. So they're the same, but they're different. Let's see. I also finally decided to go ahead and get these. I saw them at my other store and I left them, but they're only a dollar and I think they're really pretty. I still stick by that they're really pretty. I just don't know what I'm personally going to use them for is why I didn't pick them up the first time. But when I saw them at this store, I'm like, God, they're really pretty. I love all the shine and the different colors in them. It's got blues and golds and a little hint of green in here. So I think they're gorgeous. I just don't know what I'm going to use them for, but I gave in and I bought them because I just think that they are gorgeous. So those are 99 cents a piece and they are different sizes. So this is 12 mm and this is 16. You get 20 pieces and you get 30 pieces in those. So there's those. This one I had bought at the other store. These are little hearts. They are so cute. And you get 40 pieces in here for the dollar. So you can definitely use these for any projects or save them for Valentine's Day next year. I just think that they are absolutely beautiful. So I'm happy that I got another pack of those. And then there's these beads right here. These are just so pretty. These give like a multicolor of like blue and purple. So they just are just really, really nice. So I got those. I'm probably going to use these for Halloween, I think, because I think they're just gorgeous. And these are glass ones. So you get um, six and eight mm beads on those. This one I had got before, but since I found some more, this store had a bunch of these, so I didn't mind picking up another one, $1.49. And like I said before, I just loved all the different colors of the beads, which you can use for any time. So just love those. And then these match these, which is really, really nice. These are just smaller. So I love that I found those so I can mix and match those together. This is the thing with this one. The store had a ton of these, so $1.49. You get the three different size beads and they are all glass. 
Same thing with this one. They had, um, I think I left like four there. So $1.24. These are purple. I love these. They have a matte filling to them and definitely going to use these for Halloween. And I have some crafty friends that their favorite color is purple. So I can always use purple in my stash. This one I was really happy to find. I had bought it before. So it's $1.99 and these are just gorgeous. They are a glitter silver. They are plastic, but these are beautiful. So I'm happy I found those because I like mixing the blue and the silver together for my winter project. So I love that I was able to find another one of those. Then there's this one. It was $1.49 and it's purple beads, but they have like a texture to them, which I thought was really interesting. So I love when things are textured or different. So these definitely are a little bit different than just regular glass beads. So I got those. So I can mix those together, even though they are different shades, but it'll look really nice once I get it all done together. Then I got two of these. I love these so much. $1.24. And these are just beautiful so it goes from blue down to a green and they are slightly different color that's why i got one of each of them these this green is a little bit lighter than this green and even over here in the blue they are slightly different color as well so i just thought those are really pretty even though it's supposedly the same they were different so that's why i got you know one of each of those let's see so that's it for the jewelry so let me show you what i got as far as the stamps i'm so excited that i was able to get stamps and i have been eyeing this one i've been debating if i should get it or not I'm so happy that i waited because i got it now on clearance so it was $2.99 for this one it's gonna be beautiful for a background stamp or you can stamp it out and then cut each little envelope and use it as little ephemera pieces this one was 374 i love this one for winter and for christmas got a little swirly of snowflakes really really pretty there this is another background stamp a dollar 99 this one is gorgeous and i love right here that they give you a little example so they did it for the background and they also stamped it on the envelope right there in just a lighter brown so you could go ahead and make your envelope match to your card. Really, really pretty. I love this one. So this came out to $1.99. And I just love postage. I love collecting postage off of my mail and just in stamps and in everything else. So I was so excited to find this one. $1.49. And look, there is some florals right here. Some floral in this one as well. This one is blank right here. So you could always write something in there if you wanted. I thought about um, writing like maybe the date. So if I stamp this on a scrapbook and then I can write the date right there. This little crow guy right here gives me like Halloween vibes. Really cool. This one you could write like where you're going and the date on as well. So I'm really excited that I found this set right here. So yes, love that. Then there was this one for $2.49, just a bunch of sentiments that everybody can use. So I thought it went well with the way they showed this one right here, where it says thinking of you. So we have that right there, which is this one right here. Or you can change it out with happy birthday, thank you, love you, just all kinds of different sentiments here. And then there's a couple of little hearts down here as well. So I thought that was a good buy. Then uh, my store, they were barely doing the stamps and the inks and all of that when I was there. So I wasn't able to wait, but I picked up what I was able to. So they had done this ink set. The lady said she was going to do more inks and a lot of the wood block um, stamps. But like I said, I wasn't able to wait. So maybe I'll check back next week. But there's this one for $7.24. And I love that you get such a variety of colors. Now, I don't know if I would be able to ink blend with these or not, so I need to give that a try. If not, just regular stamping is perfectly fine, but I love that it was a mix. I have, you know, a little bit of brown, a red, an orange, a yellow, some green, some blue, some purple, some grays, you know. Um, this is a little espresso down here, so yeah, a great mix of colors, so I'm happy that I found that. Then they have this tin right here. It was $2.24. The lady said she was going to put these little um, 
ink pads on clearance but she hadn't done them yet and this was the only tin that was there when I was there so I went ahead and I picked it up just in case I do decide to get some of these little mini inks I already have the tin if not I'm hoping that I can you know just take this little insert out and then fit these in there so I figured either way I'll be able to get some use out of it if not, it was $2.24 and I can always use it for like packaging to send somebody happy mail in. But I do hope to go back and be able to find the little mini inks on clearance. So I got that one. And then they had these for $0.75. Cents. So I did buy a kit. So I do have an extra instruction book. So I was thinking maybe I could add the instruction book and then, you know, a set of the papers and put that in a giveaway. So I might end up doing that because I did hit my 4,000 subscribers. So I still need to do a 4,000 subscriber giveaway for that. So I might include that in the giveaway. Well, we'll see. You know, you guys let me know what you guys think. And then the last little bits that I got were embossing powders. So right here, it was, this was interesting. So this says, you know, yellow, and then this one is yellow tinsel as well, but they are definitely two different shades of yellow. So I got both of these, even though they were like, so where the um, embossing powders are, they're, they're like in a little line like this. So they're just all like in a little line. And then, you know, these are in a little line next to it and so on. But when I grabbed this yellow, this one kind of slid down. And I'm like, wait, that's a different yellow. And then when I read it, I'm like, oh, no, it's supposedly the same yellow. But they're clearly different. So I'm not sure if once you emboss them, if this is going to come out really yellow and this one's going to be pastel or if they're going to end up kind of just coming out to the same color. I have no idea, but... They were obviously different colors, so I grabbed one of each of those. And then they had these right here. So I got those. Oh, so all of these were $1.49 for all of the embossing powders. So I got those. And then I got this one that's supposed to be a gold so a dollar 49 as well for that one this gives me like coffee vibes it looks very brown not like a gold so i'm interested to see how this embosses and then i had never even seen this before i didn't even know that they sold uh flocking there at um hobby lobby so this is like you could put glue down say like on santa's little hat so you could put some glue down and then you put this flocking powder on top and then when it dries it will stick and then this gives it like a little fuzzy texture so i didn't even know they had this stuff i wish they would have had more i only found the one so i was really happy that i was able to get one i'm not sure you know how far this will go but I'm definitely excited to go ahead and use this definitely for Christmas time and just, you know, put little fuzzy and furry to, you know, Santa's hat and his suit. I'm wondering if I can color this, which would be interesting. So if I did like, you know, a little piggy, I could paint some, you know, pink and then go ahead and put it to like the little piggy die cut. And then that way it could have like a little fuzzy. I think that'd be really cute too. So I need to play with that and see how that works out. So that's everything that I got this time around and those are all my little ideas on how I'm going to use this stuff. I want to thank you guys always for watching. You guys are always so sweet and so supportive and I appreciate all of you and I'm going to keep looking to see what else there is on clearance because apparently there are more dyes that I did not even see at my store because I've had people send me photos of what they got and a lot of people found nesting dyes that I did not find in my store. I think it was um an angel, a bell, I think a Christmas tree. I think there was something else. So those were not available when I went to my store. So I would definitely be interested, you know, to see what they look like and I might possibly get those. I really liked the bell. I thought that'd be really cute for Christmas time. So yeah, I'm just gonna keep calling my other store and whenever they say that they have stuff available, I'll just head on in over there and see what I can find. So, all right guys, that's it. And thank you guys so much for watching and we'll see you later. Bye guys.